Hello everyone and welcome back on my channel. What I want to talk about today is making a list of how many items you have in your closet because then you can use that list when you're thinking of buying something new because then you know the area where you have too much where you might have to declutter the area and then you also know the areas where you do not have enough pieces of clothing. So I have just gone through that process today. You can go through every area of the closet if you feel like you need to go through it just to get an overlook of how many pieces of clothing you have in certain areas. So I've written down a list. When it comes to blouses I have 17 so I have more than enough. I did not know that I still had this many pieces of Blouses because I've just gone through a declutter. I, I go through the clutters pretty frequently, but you just do not see it most of the time. But I have filmed a big declutter recently. But usually I just like declutter a few pieces at a time and usually I don't film that because I do not think people want to see me just decluttering like one to four items. But if you want to see me do those kind of decluttering videos, please comment down below because I would love to do them if you get something out of watching them. And then I have 18 t-shirts, so I still have a lot of t-shirts. And things that you wear like close to your body, like blouses and t-shirts, you need to change almost every day because that's just what is most hygienic. And my boyfriend, he washes our clothing once a week, once every other week. So it's not like I have a lot more than I use, so that's still fine. For me, it would just be nice to have like 14 blouses and 14 t-shirts. So when you're in the cold seasons, I combine both and in the summer, I mostly like wear t-shirts. So that's just a nice number to have 14 of each because again, if my boyfriend only washes every other week sometimes, then I have enough. Dresses, here I was like pretty impressed by how many I have. I have 11 dresses. So I definitely do not need more because like it's not even every week I wear a dress so I definitely have enough but I like all the dresses I have and when you like everything you have it doesn't always make sense to declutter it. Sometimes it does, sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. That's just something you have to figure out for yourself. Then I have seven pairs of pants which is pretty decent if you ask me. I have three pairs of shorts, I have three skirts. So when it comes to skirts and shorts, I could definitely need some more. When it comes to sportswear, I have six t-shirts. I did not know I had that many. I have one blouse, four leggings and one pair of shorts. I definitely do not exercise that often at the moment because right now my week is pretty packed. So it's only about two times Per week, I actually exercise on my exercise bike because four times per week I'm out walking and I walk the amount you have to walk every day because I have like this exercise watch where you can see how many steps I've taken. So most days I actually just walk, that's my exercise. So the places I have to go to and from and then two times a week I try to use my exercise bike. And then one day a week I have like a, a day where I need to do exactly nothing just to relax. That's pretty important to have like a day in your week where you do like nothing and you just relax. Especially for me as someone who has something to fight with. But I think this is really a great thing for everyone to do if you have something to fight with or not. But it's really great about making this kind of a list. It's knowing the areas where you need more clothing. I think I've already made like a video about this. This is just an updated video to say. What I definitely could need more of is one to two pair of shorts more just for exercising in. One to two pair of shorts and skirts more. And when it comes to blouses and dresses and all that, I definitely do not need to buy any more. So what is really great about doing this thing is that you easily see the areas where you need more. One thing you can also do just in your day-to-day -day life is that if you run out of something before you wash, then figure out how many pieces more of that you need. And if there's something you feel like you never run out of, maybe you need to declutter that area. And 
for example, it could also be something that's practical to have. So for me personally, I like wearing long underwear, but in the summer that is really not comfortable at all. So for example, in the summer it would be a good thing for me to buy underwear that's more breathable and that is not as long. So again, figuring out the areas where you might need more. So it both helps you with figuring out where you need less and where you need more. And what you should shop when you go out and what you shouldn't shop when you go out. Because if you're like me, you have like favorite areas where you can easily buy more. So for me, that's like blouses, t-shirts and dresses and especially sweaters. That's like the areas where I keep buying new things even though I do not need them. And the areas where I need more, that, that could, for example, be pantyhoses because it's a really hard time to finding finding pantyhoses that do not itch, that is really warm to have on in winter time or just when it's cold in general. Then as I just talked about, I need some underwear that is more breathable and not as long for summer. And I also need some bras for that because bras are often more breathable than what I usually wear, which is sports bras. So they're just nicer to have in the summer. And then, as I talked about, there's some shorts and skirts I could need a little more. So just making this kind of a list just makes it easier for you to see what, what do I actually need to buy. So if you go out, you know you've written down this list. You can take it with you, you just mentally have it in your head. Just remember, okay, if you see something that's cute and you usually buy, just say, no, I have enough of this. And go for the area where you actually need more stuff. So for me, I know that the areas I need more stuff, I know why I do not buy them because that's not like the areas I'm the most like attracted to when I go in a store. I do not often see a cute pair of shorts that I really like. And I think these areas that I do not have enough of is because I'm really specific about what I want in these areas. And that can be really hard to find. So for example, for me, I have a navel piercing now, so I only wear low waisted jeans but low waisted shorts in my country is so hard to come by so they're really really hard to find and one thing i've thought about doing is maybe going to the thrift store and seeing if i can find a low waist pair of jeans and then i can just cut them into shorts myself so that's one thing for example i have to think about you have to get like a little bit more creative and you have to be alright with the areas where you do not have enough. That it might take a while before you have enough in that in that area. Because it might be harder for you finding something that you actually like in that area. It might be easier for you to find something that you really like in the areas where you do not need more clothing. So that's just something to be aware of. I am also just going to count how many pieces of sleepwear I have by myself. Just because I'm curious. But yeah guys, thank you for watching. I really hope you got something out of this video. And if you did, please remember to comment, like, subscribe. All the good stuff that helps my channel. And remember, I really appreciate every one of you. And I love reading your sweet comments. So please comment anything you feel like. If you have something to add to the subject. Or just if you liked the video, what you liked about it. If you've done something interesting today, you're also allowed to comment that. It does not have to be anything that is related to this video. If you have something interesting to talk about down below, please just do it. If you had a good day or if you petted your cat or whatever, comment down below because I love getting to know the people who actually watch my videos. So you are allowed to do that and I would love if you did that. And I just hope to see you soon in another video. Bye guys!